Oh my god, that's a monster. That is the fattest fish I've seen in a long time. <laughs> I'm so wacky. <laughs> that was dumb. You guys know what one of my favorite things to do? Favorite. Like F-A-V, capital. Favorite. And the best part is you can do it with like a million different styles of rigging. A million. Not really a million. But you can do it in a lot of different ways. Stay tuned. We're going to run through how to wacky wig. Wait. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're going to run through how to wacky rig everything. Every We can wacky rig the world. Nice. Close that go. balls fishing and remember you guys are awesome i love certain things like absolutely love and i think as fishermen we all do we have certain things that we just gravitate towards we, we're confident in them we love the way they work we catch more fish on them whether it's because of the way it's rigged or it's because of something we love but i'm going to tell you today about something that i absolutely love doing and it works in a million different circumstances and ways wacky 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 i love wacky rigging i feel <laughs> I feel like like I'm an addict or something. Like I love wacky rigging. You know, it's like yeah, you need to say it and accept it and kind of express it. Let's talk about wacky rigging. First off, why do I love wacky rigging? I love wacky rigging because it catches tons of fish. Guys, if you have water that's like semi-clear, I mean anywhere from like super clear all the way down to two foot, one foot visibility, you can wacky rig a worm. Wacky rigging in its most basic form is simply hooking your plastic, whether it's a trailer or whether it's like the mainstay of the bait, right in the middle. And it looks like this. As usual, I think it came from the West Coast where a lot of kind of cool rigging kind of ideas come from. But wacky rigging can be used across a variety of baits and we're gonna get into that in a minute. But why does it work so good? You know, I don't know. I think it's because it, it's the vibration. We, we talk about the lateral line on bass a lot, and I think it's kind of a unique vibration that it puts off. It also slows down your presentation. We all like to fish fast. I'm totally like guilty of that. Like I like to power fish, fish quick, you know, 10 XD blows through. And a wacky rig, because there's more water resistance, because the bait is horizontal when you're pulling it back instead of like directly kind of like at you where it pulls just straight through the water, you get more resistance and it slows the bait down. So I think that presentation is slower. You also do it with a straight bait, whether that's like a, a stick bait like this, a finesse worm, um, just like a straight bait just like that. And oftentimes these style of baits, whether it's stick worm, finesse worms, well, actually, finesse worm has it in has it in its name. It's it's a finesse style bait, you know. So it's more subtle, it's more finesse, and oftentimes those those type of baits, those style of baits, in the first place, get more bites. Oh, dude. So let's get rolling into the million ways to wacky rig. You have to watch out a little bit because wacky rigging means you're using an open hook. So a lot of times, you know, if I'm fishing in brush, if I'm fishing in grass, I can't do it. There's a few exceptions though. If you're fishing in kind of like sparse grass, actually hanging that wacky rig. If you guys watch that video, um, somebody was spying on me when I caught like a seven pound, six and a half pound bass on, on Lake Gunnersville. Fish on guys. Oh, that's a giant, dude. I was actually fishing a wacky rig worm in the grass, but it was like sparse grass, and I'd actually rip it off the grass, and it's one of the reasons I got bites. One of my absolute favorite ways to wacky rig, and I've been doing this for years, and I think the Smalley boys have been doing it up north for years. I think a lot of people have been doing it for years, but they don't talk about it. I learned it probably back in 2012, I think. It was one of the first kind of little wacky tricks that I, wacky tricks, ha <laughs> ha. I feel like I'm in a circus. It was one of the first little wacky tricks that I figured out, and it has still been probably one of the best things that I've figured out, and it's a simple one. Obviously, wacky worm. Actually, that's a shaky shed. That's another weird thing. Dude, don't be afraid of wacky rigging weird stuff. Stick baits in general are like the key, but flukes, stick baits, little weird drop shot baits like this, but you can see, whoop, <laughs> almost hit you guys in the face. 
This is a wacky rig drop shot. This has been one of my standbys. A wacky rig drop shot, you can fish vertically, you can cast it, you can drag it, you can kind of fish it low, kind of like a Carolina rig on the bottom, you can fish it high. Dude, it is such a versatile setup and it gets so many bites. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick with this one and this is actually gonna apply across all our wacky rigs. One thing that guys do wrong or a misconception that they have is that they need to use like a little circle hook when they wacky rig. So unless you're in the clearest, craziest, most finicky bass water ever, don't do that. Don't do that. Why don't you do that? Well, you lose fish. So what you wanna use, I'm not saying you have to use this hook, but this is my Wacky Rig drop shot. That's a Rover Worm rebar Rebarb hook. It's basically a straight shank hook. That is what you always wanna use when you're Wacky Rigging. Across all the like the straight Wacky Rig rigs we're gonna talk about, you wanna use that. You lose less fish, you get a better hook in them, and it just gives, a, I think it gives the bait a little bit more weight to kind of fish and like swim down there. Um, that way, oftentimes you're fishing this weightless, so the only weight that the bait actually has is the hook. So if you have a little bit bigger hook on there, you land more fish, and then you also, it kind of doubles as weight for when you're actually fishing the bait. But Wacky Rig Drop Shot, if you haven't tried it, you need to do it. These guys are interrupting our video. Freaking hooligans everywhere. So we got an audience for the rest of the video, these guys. We're actually gonna shoot a really cool video with them in a little bit, but hold on, let's talk more about Wacky Rig. My second favorite, I don't know, this one's a close run for my first favorite, but this is another rig that I picked up kind of fishing offshore and just really kind of tapping into those, those offshore schools and it catches them when nothing else will. And that's a Nico rig. Again, it's a wacky style bait. You're just putting the hook through. The key with the Nico rig though is you're actually putting a weight right in the nose. Oftentimes it'll be like a nail weight because you're fishing kind of shallow. I'm fishing about 25 feet of water. So I got about quarter ounce, 5 16 weight stuck in there. Once again though, you're using like a, a stick style bait. It's a finesse style bait. You can either throw it on light bait casting tackle or I oftentimes throw it on you know, just like a seven foot spinning rod. The biggest trick with this is, and this is actually applies to um, when you're fishing that, that drop shot rig as well, you want braid backing to uh, like a fluorocarbon leader. You just get better connection. A lot of the bites you get on these wacky style rigs, they're more like weight than they are like a, like basically the fish will just kind of suck it up. And it, when they do that, feeling for that, that that weight is a lot easier if you have braid, which is no stretch, and you have a little softer tip rod that kind of gives you a little room. Because all you're gonna do on these fish is just reel in and kind of sweep the hook. So I don't know if I can take full credit for this one, but I do kind of think I invented it. This is what I call the wacky rig jig. And I'm sure there's some guys who have done it before me in the past, but I don't think many have because I do it in kind of a weird way. Maybe they've done it with some smaller stuff. This is a big fish rig that I learned about what fish and brush piles trying to do something and, and create a different presentation for these fish. A lot of these fish have seen drag rigs, whether it's a Carolina rig, a Texas rig, a lot of stuff that comes at them just like this. Doo, 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 doo. So I wanted to show them something that came at them like this. So here's what I got. This is a gambler obese. This is a football jig. Guess what happens when you put them together? Ta-da! Wacky rig jig. This thing gets freaking Mondo bites. It allows you to fish the bait slower. It, it doesn't hang. It has a little bit of drag on it because it is that wacky style. But dude, when it comes to like summer fishing, presenting a larger profile bait and fishing some of these offshore bars, fishing offshore rock and brush piles, this wacky jig is killer. Now I've said it a million times. Don't do this with a stick bait. This is one of the few wacky presentations where you can't kind of like switch stuff out and try different stuff. You need a gambler obese. And I know you guys are gonna laugh at me and be like, oh, because it's gambler, what? No, that's not it. So the obese is a super dense, somewhat stubby stick style bait. But the trick is, since it's so dense, it flicks back. Now you can do this with a Domeki Stinger too, if you want a smaller presentation, but you need something that's a super dense plastic because otherwise it just basically drags through the water like this and never snaps back into place. And the whole trick with a wacky rig is it needs to go do, 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 do. I feel like a video game. But yeah, wacky jig, I invented it. Probably not, but maybe. Lastly, but not leastly, and this is kind of a variation on the jig rig that we talked about, the wacky jig. This is just a little jig head with just a circle style hook. Not exactly a circle hook, it's a little stouter than that and that's why I kind of like it. I think this is big by baits, but basically it's almost like a shaky head, but for wacky rigging. This is awesome when you have suspended fish 
or when you're kind of like dragging it and you have suspended fish that are above but they're also below you can throw it out and it'll slowly sink down especially in deeper water but at the same time you can kind of drag it and fish it like um like you would almost like a net rig almost but for wacky style stuff but super versatile presentation kind of like all these wacky styles are like you can use them in such a wide range of context but the big overbearing kind of like key concept is it can't be around like super duper tons of cover like you can kind of flip it around docks and stuff like that you can work it in some sparse grass and that but overall a wacky rig is going to be in you know you're generally more open water situations but that's where it really shines it can draw fish from afar especially if you're in super clear water and it just gets bites and i really i mean i can imagine some reasons as to why but i really don't know why that is it's just a presentation where you can get bites and catch big ones and anytime that's the case i'm freaking in dude well i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love talking about one of my favorite styles of fishing and that's wacky fishing and you can do it in so many different ways if you guys have any questions or if i miss something please drop it down in the comments box let me know am i missing out on some like awesome wacky style rigging potential because i love freaking doing it make sure you guys like and subscribe if you enjoy these kinds of tip and technique breakdown videos i like making them i like going through that process because i learn along with you guys but as usual thank you for hanging out thank you for watching the video and you will see us next time and we will be fishing hopefully catching big ones but till then guys tight lines we're out <laughs>